I have been a huge fan of Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls for about eight months now, and I've discovered quite a lot about the series. This includes unused content, difference in designs, and much more. Let's go over 12 facts I know about Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls. Number 1. Milky Way's roller skates have three to four straps. Sometimes there are four, and sometimes there are three. In the animation Meet Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls, one skate appears to have four when it is placed on the ground, and the other one, that is in the air, has only three. Could this be some sort of magical ability? Also, she has a new redesign from 2014, which makes her look like a DC superhero girl, which has three straps. Fact number two. Apart from roller skate differences, which the sun also has, characters have received slight differences in appearance throughout their designs. This includes missing symbols, shirt length, and even eye color. Sometimes they even forget to add a toe stop. Fact number three. This one's a bit creepy to me. In one of her artworks, Mars is kneeling down with her hands folded and eyes closed. But on the tag of her official plush doll, that artwork was reused, with one of her eyes open. Fact number four. One may notice that Andromeda has black outlines opposed to the other characters. This is because she was drawn in 2004, which was part of the original Galaxy Girls era with the cast having black outlines. She has not returned since, and I don't know for sure, but she could have possibly been a scrapped character. Despite this, I treat her like she's part of the main cast. Fact number 5. The character Charon was actually going to be in the real Galaxy Girls series. After DeviantArt user Wing Diamond posted a comment on the series rough post about making Charon on keyboard for Pluto in the Dwarf Planets and to make Ceres jealous, Lauren Faust stated that she wanted to rather make Charon Pluto's annoying little sister who won't stop pestering her. Despite this concept, Charon was never officially created nor heard from again. Fact number 6. The Moon is the only character who has never opened her mouth. Well, Ceres too, but she doesn't count for this. All ten of the other girls have opened their mouths one way or another, whether it was Chibi's or not. The moon has never done so, so we'll probably never see what she'll look like with her mouth open officially, unless Lauren sketch her with her mouth open for a fan at the convention. Fact number seven. As we know, the Galaxy Girls don't have official voice actresses and have never spoken. However, I argue the case that the sun really has spoken before. In the Galaxy Girls Flash game, there is a tab where people can have five girls party at Saturn's club. Each girl portrays their own music channel. The Sun's music channel actually surprises me. Have a listen. I don't think she actually sung, but it really sounded like a vocal effect to me. What do you think? Fact number eight. If you know the dolls, Milky Way, Venus, Jupiter, Pluto, and Mars are the only girls who have been shipped officially. And there have been evidence of bias within them too, such as Meet Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls, this backpack, and this FAO Schwarz poster, which originally had Uranus on it. Back on topic, they aren't the only ones who have been sold. On the Solar Sisterhood blog, it was revealed that Neptune was also shipped to a fan once. All 11 of the girls have been made into dolls, and it appears Neptune got a tan from the sun. Fact number 9. I'm sure most of us are familiar with Milky Way's prototype, which has her belly button exposed, a t-shirt, and blue shoelaces. But that isn't all Milky originally had. In an archive of MilkyWayInTheGalaxyGirls.com from 2003, we can see that she also had what appears to be a star-shaped necklace, which mysteriously went missing in her later artworks. Lost jewelry? Free stuff! Similar thing with Jupiter. In her prototype, she originally wielded a purse, which too has gone missing in later artworks. What happened to those objects? We will never know. Fact number 10. Time to talk about our favorite rock stars, Pluto and the Dwarf Planets. In 2015, Lauren posted two drawings of Pluto, one being a horrible redesign compared to the original, and another one with Pluto rocking with Eris and Ceres, who had finally returned since their colored sketches in 2007. Eris remains unchanged, but Ceres changed much more. Her brown shades have got a lot darker, and her white shirt no longer says Dwarf Planets. Also, there was a mistake with a white square on Pluto's hair. Fact 11. The Galaxy Girls always smile, except the moon, so it's very rare for them to be shown not smiling. The characters who have once not smiled are the moon, Milky Way, Venus, Mars, Ceres, Jupiter, 
Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, and Eris. The other characters have always smiled every time she was drawn. Fact number 12. Scrap sketches in Lauren's DeviantArt reveal that the dolls were originally going to have different types of outfits. With the success of what is considered to be called Milky Way 2.0, a Harajuku Milky Way for the Fruits Go Go show at Monkey House Toys in Silver Lake, Los Angeles, Venus and Mars were planned to have an outfit like that as well. Lauren was really upset that they weren't done, especially Venus. Other drawings include Mars in studio duds, Pluto in a rock tour outfit, Venus in a ballet class outfit, Milky Way in what Lauren claims she'd wear in her 20s, and Jupiter in... I don't know what to call that. Well, that's it. Is there any facts you didn't know? Which ones did you know? Let's talk in the comments. And also, if you want more videos like this, then subscribe to Unofficial Milky Way. Or not, whatever makes you happy.